Um, Cointelegraph sits down with Digital Wave Finance to talk about um, investment strategies and what could catalyze the next bull run. Uh, venture capital has been a key driver for myriad startups in the blockchain space. Uh, founders know how competitive it can be to secure valuable VC funding that can keep the lights on and employees paid during the critical first days of a new project. And a new interview series, uh, Cointelegraph sits down with executives at some of the most active funds investing in the crypto space uh, to understand their perspectives, hear about their successes and failures, and uh, find out kind of what gets them excited about a new project uh, in, in the Web3 space. Uh, this week, Cointelegraph spoke with Andre Gratchev, co-founder of crypto trading entity Digital Wave Finance and managing partner of market maker and multi-stage Web3 investment firm DWF Labs. DWF Labs has been highly active since late 2022, having invested in the Telegram, Open Network, Orbs, Radix, Crypto GP2, now Layer AI, and others. Uh, they were critical civilizing weapons and homes. What's expected of the homes supporting what security look like and greater the intent that we would know what happened uh, to see what happens with our conversations, the partners. Uh, Andre Grachev, uh, DWF Lab, started operating in late 2021, founded by experienced partners from DWF, a highly successful high-frequency trading entity that had been operating since 2018. You know, we recognized the potential of blockchain technology and wanted to explore investment opportunities in the industry. After making several small investments in token allocations, we refined our investment strategy in risk tons. Since then, we have been actively investing in promising projects and providing long-term financial support on a regular basis. Uh, DWF Labs invests exclusively in tokens. Um, many players in the industry consider this approach to be market making. Uh, can you explain the rationale behind this decision and why you believe investing in tokens is the best approach? And uh, kind of for accomplishment that, first of all, let me clarify that every project we work on has different deal components. While some involve pure venture investment, others may include token purchases. The past 12 to 18 months, we have seen an increasing number of market makers entering the investment space. While I cannot speak for the entire industry, it appears to me that market makers offer significant support to projects that is crucial to their growth. So uh, for example, market makers typically have established relationships with exchanges and they can help projects with listing introductions. However, it is up to the exchange to accept the recommendations or not. Another advantage of working with market makers is that they can provide liquidity support to tokens when it is needed. In other words, market makers offer value beyond just executing trades, and this is why we believe that investing in tokens is the best approach. Uh, how do you evaluate the risks associated with investing in tokens, and what steps do you take to mitigate those risks? Uh, are there any particular metrics or or uh, criteria you use to assess the, uh, the, the, the potential of a token. Uh, uh, as a Web3 investment firm, uh, we have developed uh, various uh, investment theses over time to evaluate the risks and potential of a project. While we cannot fully disclose our current investment strategy, we have identified several verticals that we are interested in supporting. On our website, we categorize our investments into nine macro categories, allowing us to diversify our risks uh, within each vertical by selecting a few projects with significantly different attributes. Uh, uh, for example, if we identify a growing uh, vertical where multiple players are developing or building value, we look at the possibility of supporting uh, more than one project. Uh, if your project has a clear emphasis on infrastructure, the next project that we select might be more focused on the B2B side and the next one on retail. Uh, this approach provides us with the comprehensive coverage of the spectrum of an industry vertical. When evaluating the potential of a token, uh, we use various metrics and criteria that are specific to each project and vertical. Uh, we analyze the market size, competition, team experience, 
and track record tokenomics and community engagement, among other factors. We also conduct due diligence and consult with industry experts to ensure that the project has a solid foundation and strong potential for growth. While investing in tokens does carry inherent risks, we believe that a diversified approach combined with thorough research and analysis can help mitigate those risks and generate positive returns for our investors. Um, what is the ideal portfolio company for DWF look like? What do you prioritize the personality of a founder, a team, or traction? Uh, what, and our investment portfolios uh, diverse, but there are a few categories that stand out due to their weight in terms of the number of investments. Um, decentralized finance and their trading, metaverse and GameFi, and infrastructure and enterprise are the categories that seem to have captured our attention the most. Um, and when it comes to prioritizing investment factors, potential market adoption should be the primary consideration. Now, this is because a great idea or product that doesn't have a large potential user base will not be successful in the long run. Addressable market size is also an important factor as it helps to determine the potential revenue and growth prospects of a company. Uh, however, even with a large potential market and a great product, the ability of the team to execute is essential for success. Uh, a talented and experienced team uh, with a track record of success will increase the likelihood of successful execution and bring the product to market efficiently. And finally, while buzz and hype um, can be useful indicators of market demand and, and potential, they can also be misleading and should be taken with a grain of salt. It's important to evaluate uh, the underlying fundamentals and, uh, and potential for long-term success rather than being swayed solely by hype or trends in the market. And among others, you invested in TUN and EOS. Uh, both projects have a complicated history and a controversial reputation in the industry. What exactly did you find attractive in these projects? And we invested in TUN and EOS due to their potential for uh, market adoption and addressable market size. Both projects were highly ambitious and aimed to address fundamental issues within the blockchain industry, such as scalability and usability. We were also impressed with the teams behind each project and their ability to execute on their vision, despite challenges they faced. While there were certainly controversies and setbacks along the way, we believe that these projects had the potential to make a significant impact in the industry, and we're willing to take the risk. Ultimately, our decision to invest in TUN and EOS was based on a thorough analysis of their potential for long-term success rather than their current buzz or hype status within the industry. Um, one of your recent investments is Crypto GPT, and, you, and, and, and what is that? And what, it, to, to, as outlined in our investment thesis, we strive to mitigate risk by diversifying our portfolio within specific industry verticals. This approach allows us to balance potential profits with the possibility of losses. Our investment in crypto GPT occurred during a period when we were supporting various AI projects. While the initial version of crypto GPT may not have been impressive, we believed our investment could have facilitated further development and led to something innovative in the market. It is premature to write off the project entirely based on its current implementation. For example, the first iPhone did not have the copy-paste feature, but subsequent iterations improved upon the initial model. The Crypto GPT team is actively developing and launching new products, and we look forward to seeing the results in the long run. Uh, what's the best way for the startup to catch your interest? Uh, our investment strategy is a combination of various assessment criteria, such as the team, market, traction, competitive landscape, and more. As we receive a high volume of funding, applications monthly. We prioritize projects that catch our attention with something unique and extraordinary. 
This is what we would have referred to as the USP or unique selling proposition in traditional marketing jargon. We value when projects showcase their strengths, whether it be in their community or traction, as it allows us to easily identify potential gems and initiate our due diligence process. Uh, what is your fastest growing portfolio company? And there are several fast growing projects in our portfolio, making it challenging to focus on just one when highlighting them. However, some projects have managed to grow their communities tremendously, such as Yield Guild Games, which has accelerated the adoption of GameFi, Conflux, with its signature partnership with China Telecom, and Coin98, which has seen massive adoption in Southeast Asia. Notably, Synthetix is a groundbreaking financial primitive that enables the creation of synthetic assets. Syscoin has been working for years to perfect a solution to the trilemma, and Fetch.ai offers comprehensive tools for developing, deploying, and monetizing applications. I'm breaking news, and, and somebody uh, you have to give credit to my partners in our team who work tirelessly to stay informed and scout for new projects while evaluating the potential of existing doing ones. We also attend industry events to connect with the community, which is still very much connected through decentralized human nodes. These events provide us with an opportunity, network, and expand our connections which is crucial for discovering promising deals. Uh, many big names, including A16Z, Shima, and others, are investing in Web3 gaming. But all the metaverse and gaming projects seem to be overestimated. Decentraland reportedly had just 38 daily active users at one point in a $1.3 billion ecosystem. What do you think about Web3 games and metaverses? And that's how we like other VCs are keeping a close eye on the Web3 uh, gaming and metaverse spaces. Um, while we see the potential for these projects to uh, red survey in virtual world industries, we also acknowledge the risks and challenges they face. And it's true that some projects have been overestimated, but this is a nascent industry. We are still in the early stages of experimentation. As with any emerging technology, it takes time to develop and gain widespread adoption. Uh, you know, 444 and Tender, you know, they've seen 15, uh, the work with a lot of uh, industry second place and pay up was kind of the, the world is somewhat as a big in hand and it's not really new that the biggest ability of research is necessary at the bottom of the Greekware. And uh, it's, an, it's a good story sometimes in the campus of obvious for lamb for a week. And uh, so I, I saw to ignore the tremendous impact that AI is bringing to the world. Uh, also, the incredible growth of GameFi has already contributed uh, significantly to growing adoption. Uh, and certainly, uh, DeFi is here to stay. Uh, decentralized exchanges have been the talk of the day ever since FTX went bankrupt. More recently, there seems to be a renaissance of meme coins. There has been a tremendous amount of building behind the noise of token price. We are always interested in supporting builders. At the moment, we are particularly keen to support infrastructure projects from layers to IoT and real world assets. We believe that these projects will play a critical role in shaping the future of the industry. Uh, some critics of token investing argue that many tokens are not real investments, uh, but speculative assets subject to price manipulation and volatility, which negatively influence the entire industry. How do you respond to this criticism, and what evidence can you provide to support the idea that token investing is a legitimate form of investment? Uh, token investing is often criticized as a form of speculation that lacks legitimacy as an investment vehicle. Uh, however, tokens are attractive to both retail and institutional investors uh, because of their liquidity. Tokens can be viewed as the next evolution of shares traded on a stock exchange. In traditional markets, the democratization of access to the stock market through platforms like Robinhood. 
and each of our other retail investors the ability to organize themselves into communities that can further their investment thesis beyond the market rationale. The growth of Bean Coins is a prime example of this community approach to crypto investment. And is not many that what's the key to project and what some people in Tempo are ready to work with in terms of extractive time, uh, you know, groupingality, uh, but it, it just sells that want to profit is called a philanthropist. Uh, therefore, token investing should be evaluated based on its potential for generating returns, as well as its potential risks and rewards. Uh, you know, some tokens will generate uh, handsome profits based on their technological value, uh, while others will thrive uh, solely due to their their growing community of, of enthusiasts. Uh, you know, and heading comment, and we'll see, given an opposite as the recent collapses of FTX, 3AC and others didn't add any trust or optimism to the crypto space. All recent events indicate that traditional current financial system overall are in crisis. In your opinion, what's the best way to overcome these challenges? Uh, finance is a highly complex field. Um, at a crossroads between the economy on the one hand and government regulation on the other. Uh, financial institutions are a vital part of the economy uh, in day-to-day -day terms uh, and it is unfortunate when such institutions uh, fail to comply with regulations uh, or intentionally implement malpractices. As for overcoming challenges, there are a few approaches that could be taken. Firstly, Increasing transparency and accountability within the industry is crucial. This can be achieved through regulation of self-policing by the industry itself. Secondly, embracing technological innovation and new business models could lead to more efficient and inclusive financial systems. Lastly, educating the public and promoting financial literacy is essential in building trust and confidence in the industry. Overall, a combination of these approaches could lead to a more resilient, trustworthy financial system. Uh, this is a fast-growing multi-billion dollar industry, uh, but still for the general public it might look like something related to illicit activities such as money laundering. Uh, what can change this perception and how do we have them on our street? This concern seems outdated as over the past few years there's been significant adoption of blockchain technology and Web3 Many portfolio companies have created for communities globally. For example, World Mobile Token disrupts the trillion dollar telecommunications industry by enabling connectivity for everyone through a sharing economy and distributing network ownership. It's essential to focus on builders and the real value they bring to the world to dispel negative perceptions about the crypto industry. Uh, what topics in the industry are the hottest nowadays? This 1.5 years ago, Non-fungible tokens were everywhere. Now, every primary protocol has its own NFT marketplace, but very few users. Um, you know, are, are NFTs gone, or do you expect them to evolve into something? Um, what's the next big thing? Uh, undeniably, NFTs took the world by storm, demonstrating that massive crypto adoption is possible. Although their initial use case was closely related to self-expression, NFTs represented a mere speculative tool for some. Uh, in other words, the use case was not the most solid to build upon, but it was indeed a good starting point. Now, we see many more innovative use cases in NFTs, and we are sure that many more will come very soon. Uh, for example, uh, with the advent of uh, advanced AI engines for recreation, uh, the ability to launch a new NFT collection is no longer limited to those with the uh, technical day skills to execute. Rather, the opportunity has been democratized to empower anyone with an idea to execute rapidly and easily. This simplification and democratization is already spilling over in no code development, gaming, and entertainment, more broadly, like music and filmmaking. Trading will also be significantly impacted by AI integration and we are already seeing some projects emerging this field. And they say, in your opinion, what could catalyze the next forum? Right? So 
the and Dame Phi will continue to lead in uh, mass adoption as the lowest hanging fruit. Um, what is particularly interesting will be to see how AI integrations bring into existence a new dot breed of extremely interactive gaming experiences. For example, AI-driven non-player characters will have emotions and personalities of their own and will interact with players far beyond their scripted scope of existence. Therefore, we should keep a close eye on how AI will impact all industries. Uh, in life of Saikakani. There are alarmists who think AI will steal jobs, and positive thinkers who are sure it will make our lives better and easier. What is your point of your view? What significant changes can AI bring to the crypto industry? Uh, the idea that AI will steal jobs is real, uh, but in more practical terms, uh, people who know how to master AI integration will be replacing other people's jobs. Um, people, AI on its own is not going to steal anyone's job um, unless someone programs it to do so. There might be many ethical repercussions related to the first outcome of AI integrations. It is not too far-fetched to imagine AI being regulated in a similar way to finance to a certain extent. Uh, as for the positive impact of AI, um, it has the potential to bring significant change to the crypto industry. Uh, AI can be used for advanced data analysis and predictive modeling, helping traders make informed decisions and identify market trends. It can also be used to enhance security measures, detecting and preventing fraud and cyber attacks. Additionally, AI can assist in developing more efficient and effective blockchain protocols leading to faster and more scalable networks. Overall, I believe AI will play a crucial role in the growth and development of the crypto industry, and its impact will be mostly positive if implemented ethically and responsibly.